he's got a bit of a reputation of being a bit of a ladies' man in his older age and a bit of a creep in some people's eyes and you know whatever it may be. And um, yeah, some of these stipulations or some of the things that he's kind of <laughs> looking for in women <laughs> make you really, really, really laugh. So this is the post someone shared on Twitter, Instagram post. It says the following way Lineker says, so my family have decided I need a girlfriend for my own sanity and health. So here's my criteria. Okay, let's start things off like normal, right? So here's him taking a really great cool guy picture, you know, camera down below, shooting up, nice bit of light, great glasses on. Um, he's got his hair, he's, you know, his signature beard trimmed, doing the damn thing, white t-shirt on, maybe a bit too tight, a couple of buttons undone, ready to do the thing. Here's his criteria. He says, strong, nice, loving personality, check. Now, more things, more the important things, right? So that, that's the thing that you say when you're trying to be um, coy and trying to be nice. You know, like some of the personality and, you know, some of that makes me laugh. But let's get to the actual nitty gritty of it, right? Like bra size, hand size, all that sort of stuff, right? Let's get to it. He says the following, you must like older men, but not only me. I don't know what that means. Does that mean he wants, a, it's a cuck situation or does that just mean in general? I don't know. You have to be a worldy and above 30. <laughs> and if you know anything about worldy in the UK, you know that's slang for like a 10 out of 10, right? That's what he wants. You have to be a worldy and above a 30. Okay, 28, 29 could work. Um, but not my age as that could just look weird, right? Because he's 60. So he's saying women that look 60 look weird. But men that fuck 30 year olds or younger, because, you know, if, you, if you're familiar with his social media feed, you know that some of the girls that happen to uh, cross his paths don't necessarily look like they're a day older than, I don't know, 18, right? In some respects, sometimes 21. Now, I'm not putting any mud on his name. I'm just saying how I see it, right? Some of these Caucasian ladies, they don't necessarily... White girls are weird, right? They look really young for a long period of time and then they just look really old or they look really old when they're young and they just keep looking older. There's no middle ground. So so if you see a girl, a white lady that happens to look like she's 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, believe your eyes. They're probably that age. Move away, get on the bus, call the police, run. Do whatever you can do. Get out of that sector. But if they happen to look older, they probably are older. It is what it is. So for him to say that people his age look weird is, it just goes to show just where he's at in it at the moment. But bloody hell, what a legend. He says, you must, be, you must like to travel and fly to business class, which is a weird requirement. Of course, everyone's going to like that. And stay in incredible hotels. Oh man, I know. Actually, you know what? I prefer to stay in the EasyJet hotel. That's what I prefer. I prefer to stay in a generator hostel. That's what I like to do, actually. I prefer to stay in... Um, and a random person's sofa because that's where I like to get down. Like, what? Uh, be prepared to give up your career or job or at least be able to work from a laptop on a tropical beach somewhere. Oh, the horror. If I wonder if Iceland will let me... Would, you reckon if your sales is in Iceland, I'll let you work remotely? Um, shacked up with Wayne Lineker as he's flipping, pla ha hammering you down day in, day out. Um, you need to spend the summer in Ibiza and the winter in Dubai. Oh, the horror. With two weeks in the UK for Christmas and New Year with the families and holidays in the Maldives. No baggage as mine as uh, uh, no baggage as mine are all grown up. Which was that? No, baggage is kids, he means. No baggage. He's referring to children. His children as baggage. He's a mad guy. Uh, mine are all grown up. <laughs> is that what he means? <laughs> oh my god a dog is acceptable but we need to be, have a passport okay great daddy likes pets you must be able to cook as i love cooking that's odd isn't it you must like to cook because i love cooking or does it mean you, like, yeah, you must be able to cook because i like eating especially waitress ready meals okay he's being funny also you also don't need to be verified i can sort that out for you <laughs> house music and r&b lovers only oh man how about if you like techno no rock or heavy or pop music damn it man so if you like uh, robin he's not into you if you like Adele, he's not into you. If you like uh, Taylor Swift, he's not into you. Damn it. That rules out a big chunk of women, actually. Um, Little Mix. They're not exactly R&B, are they? Um, you must like uh, Netflix, especially Money Heist. Oh, he's got such... He's got such... For somebody so picky, he's got such basic bitch taste, hasn't he? Right? He's so average. So, like, vanilla, right? He's so fucking... Um, what's that sandwich you get in Waitrose that's got those little cloves on it with butter? Do you know what I mean? Like, just standard, right? He's, he doesn't even put... Like, he doesn't even put ketchup on, on his chips, right? No, no salt. Just, like, straight straight potato. Straight fried potato in his mouth. Like, God damn it, man. All these stipulations and you fucking, like, money heist. Netflix. Like, come on. What a weapon. Um, no chick flicks. Watch them with your own mates. <laughs> He needs to be confident enough to be able to go to the front of the queue in nightclubs and accept a table. What does that even mean? 
That's a whole different world, isn't it? You need to be confident enough to go to the front of a queue at a nightclub. What is that a thing in, in that culture? In that kind of table service, glitzy, high heels, sparklers and drinks, boys wearing skinny jeans with Balenciagas? Is that part of the culture where girls feel co- like self-conscious about going to the front of the queue? Why do you feel self-conscious if you know you're going to get in, if your name's on the door? I guess because you think, oh, you might, be on the, you might not be on the list. But imagine if you're a girl and you go to a, a, a very swanky club somewhere, you get your best dress on, you know, you wax your legs, uh, you put on your fake lashes and you, you know, you make sure everything is tight and snatched. There's no way you're going to be rocking up to a club not knowing that you're on the list, isn't it? You're going to make sure you're on there. Your friends are going to make sure that they cross their, their, t- they, they cross their T's and dot their I's, right? So this, this stipulation is very odd. Or maybe it's just a common thing. Maybe it's just a shy thing in general. But I'd imagine those kind of girls that, you know, they love to show out. They, you definitely want to walk past the queue, show everyone your nice little dress that you're rocking out. So that's a very odd odd thing to say. But hey, um, blah, 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 blah. And accept a table and free drinks from the owners. You need to be, you need a driving license to share a Bentley and Lamborghini Jeep. And <laughs> of course, that, that's always going to get those. The materialism here is insane. Uh, you must never have shared a teeth whitening post. Okay. I don't get what that means. I'm not on any dating. Again, he's, he likes money heist, but then he's um, shaming you for sharing one of those teeth whitening things. It's like, okay. Uh, I'm not on any dating sites. You shouldn't be too. I'm not on any. F- I'm not on OnlyFans, so you shouldn't be too. Which is odd. Again, so controlling, isn't it? Imagine, right? All these fucking stipulations for essentially what a living shag doll or something, a human shag doll. That's essentially what you are, right? Isn't it? Right? He's gonna dress you, feed you. Uh, or you know, you're gonna feed him. He's gonna dress you. You can't bring your kids. If you've got kids, kill them. Right? If you've got a dog, kill it too. Unless it's got a passport. You know, he, he's gonna be like uh, this is maddening bruv a maddening post um he says you must love the gym uh health food and have body def- definition as as i will have soon so i guess that rules out lizzo right that rules out Gemma collins that rules out anyone that has a bmi over whatever except the love of my children and grandchildren and realize no more kids for me never say never do again like what does that mean is that easy that's he's just dangling the carrot in front of some poor lady's head right because essentially he's never going to have kids with these people or he's never going to settle down with them you must be able to let my pa david hodge book all out oh, okay i better say i better say you must let my pa david hodge do, what do you call it cave your back in from time to time what the fuck <laughs> it's a good thing he's got a dude as a pa though isn't it because imagine this guy had a female as a pa like that would be you know that would be a messy office let's say that right that 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 uh that bin would be full and i'm not talking about paper ah <laughs> oh, these guys are flipping creep in it capital c this is what men should like this is it's interesting because I think there's a lot of dudes, similar to the Dan Brazarian, there's a lot of dudes who probably think this is a this is alpha male, like this is what you should be, this is like peak masculinity, and this is this is what girls actually want. When really the fact of the matter is that if he wasn't rich and famous, if he didn't own that nightclub that he owns in Ibiza, no one would give a shit about him in this regard, right? Most of the attention that he gets, most of the um uh most of his kind of sex appeal or attraction yeah attraction potential whatever it is right most of it comes from the fact that he's built up a name uh through hard work and whatever he's done of making a brand he's built up an aura and a brand around himself he could look like he could he could honestly look like casey neistat in the face and people would still want to suck him off right he could be five foot five and look completely horrible have a hunchback and you know really wiry spaghetti arms and girls would still want to get you know get on with him because he's essentially the dude that you know is responsible for putting on some memorable ib for nights and hosting in legendary parties and booking legendary djs like and he's you know related to somebody very famous like he would still be that guy that would still be the case so for him to be so uh judgmental on how people look and stuff is very interesting considering that you know hey continue here you must you you just okay so the you need book of flights and purchase items for you online which is odd so again you, you're basically a, a human shag doll he wants his pa to blow your back out and to maybe buy you some stuff on fucking boohoo or pretty little things and then he also wants you to be comfortable with what cooking for him so you're a living shag doll maid in a way you just need to send a link to see him you must able to accept my friends even uh tony whatever that guy is as i will accept yours except that i have to reply to girls dms not just guys which is odd okay except i have to like what is it business right when you're posting a picture of you and your six pack and some 
like 10 from Ecuador tells you, oh, nice pack. Like you have to, you have to tell, that girl has to accept that that is a business con conversation. Like God almighty, man. God bless whoever ends up with him anyway. One last thing. Your geography needs to be on point as girls that, Girls, girls that I think Lincoln is in Wales is not good. Be intelligent but not boring. Outgoing suits. Outgoing suits. What do you mean? Um, okay, outgoing suits. Um, wifey, where you at? Banter. Hashtag real. So yeah, that took over the timeline, and I, I don't know. Some of the responses are pretty epic. Somebody posted here underneath. Um, would suit whoever that person is. They said just had a look. Potential LOL. Followed back. Like he, well, he posted back on there. It says, to, this woman posted, I'm not sure if she's actually being serious or not. She says, I'm available, 29 car license, boat license, dive instructor, workout every morning at 6 a.m. <laughs> ah, this is so horrible, man. Look at what we've reduced ourselves to in society. Uh, currently, a charter yachts for a living. So what, is she like a, below, she's like one of those um, contestants from Below the Deck? Um, you'd imagine those kind of girls, uh, again, should, is that true? Would you imagine some of those girls have probably seen a fair number of STD, STDs or STIs? I would imagine so, right? If you're on a boat all the time surrounded by other fit, athletic males or females, whatever you're into, and rich, affluent guests, you know, you, there's probably some hanky-panky going on there. It continues. Um, maybe our first date should be on one. Living in Cyprus, but more than happy to leave. Of course you would be. One time I left a funny comment on one of your Twitter posts and you replied, because that's how hilarious I am. I'm used to walking to the front of queues because I can come from a town that's small enough that everyone knows. Why would it, honestly, this front of, someone explain in the comments below, what's the issue with girls not wanting to walk in front of a queue? Like, what's, what's this about? Is that like a thing? Like, girls don't like working in front of a queue. What they do, they just wait around the corner for what? Someone to come. Oh, I guess it's fit, right? Okay. I guess girls get embarrassed when they stand in front of a queue and the promoter guy, whoever it is wearing, you know, the promoter guy is the same old dude that has like a velvet blazer on, skinny jeans and Louboutin loafers or something stupid, something enough like that, right? Or a really tight polo top. Um, When that guy isn't at the door able to get you in, you're having to be on your phone and check. It's just awkward, isn't it? So I guess they wait until the last minute. When a person comes to the door, then they get rushed to the front. I'm assuming. But that's a very odd thing. Um, and then to end here, about time I expanded my horizons. Let me know if you're interested. Like, wow, man. Again, what a life in some regards. I think, you know, if you're Robbie from AFTV, you're probably saying, that must be nice, right? When you remember when you interviewed Ovi and he was just sitting there thinking, wow, just imagine what it must be like to look like Ovi and have girls just like throwing, you know, throwing nan at you, innit? This must be it. But God damn it, man. It's just not a good reflection of reality, isn't it? Because this guy seems to occupy a very certain sec. He seems to attract a very certain. Uh, he seems to yeah. He seems to occupy a very. He lives in a very particular group, right? He's in a particular niche. It's not very representative of the wider world in that respect. But hey, credit to Wayne Lineker, man. What do you think? Do you think Wayne Lineker is gonna find himself a wifey via Instagram? Is he just trolling? Um, if you're a female and you're watching this, do you think Wayne Lineker is hot? Is he somebody that you would want to shack up with and get him to pay your bills, drive you around in his Lamborghini truck pending? <laughs> Allow his PA to blow your back out and from time to time in exchange for, you know, uh, gift cards to go to fucking ASOS. Like, what the fuck, man? This guy is an absolute legend. Absolute legend, man. What a legend he is. Wayne Lineker, ladies and gentlemen.